building, building, building this week with a lot of tension. And it pops right here on Sunday, August 27th, when Mars moves into Libra. This is a very tense placement. The god of war in the cardinal cardinal air sign, symbolized by the scales, ruled by Venus, the goddess of love. So this is what happens when the god of war moves into the house that's owned by, or the sign that's owned by the goddess of love. There could be war with love, could be war with relationships here, could be a lot of tension with relationships during this time period. Uh, the, Mars is transiting through Libra from August 27th to October 11th. Think back to these dates. Uh, that I'm about to give you for clues on what could be in store for you between now and October 11th when Mars is transiting through Libra. The last time that Mars transited through Libra was September 14th to October 30th, 2021. The time before that, October 3rd to November 18th, 2019. So this could be especially tense for people that were born with key astrological points or planets in Cancer or Capricorn. Cancer and Capricorn, because can Cancer is cardinal water, Capricorn is cardinal earth, Libra, cardinal air. Air doesn't mix with earth and water, so that creates the tension. But just in and of itself, Mars transiting through Libra, it's the god of war in the sign of relationships. So there's going to be conflicts with relationships during this period, August 27th to October 11th. Face the conflict. Face the conflict with the objective of creating peace. So not hiding from the discomfort or not hiding from the fight or putting it off, just showing up to see where it brings you. It's like if you're not peaceful but you pretend like you're, no, everything's good. Everything's so fine. Yeah. <laughs> you know, no, it's not. Stop being fake with me. I can tell you're upset about something. So spit it out. Tell me what's going on with you. You know, like be direct in order to bridge the gap. Like I need to know what is going on with you I feel tension from you. I feel like you're being inauthentic in this relationship and I need to know what's going on so that we can bridge the gap and make peace. And it might be uncomfortable to take that first step, but the more you refrain from hiding from what is obviously there, the more it's going to create problems for you uh, as we move through this transit the rest of the time with Mars and Libra. Yeah. Well, otherwise it just builds up and it builds up and there's uh, like resentments can build up, even though you're mm -hmm. saying everything's fine and it's not really fine. It's like, you're not getting your needs met because you're not communicating. Even though it might be easier in the moment mm -hmm. in the long run, it's just going to build up into an unhealthy relationship or an, mm -hmm. and also an inauthentic one. Yes. You didn't give the person a chance to fix the thing that was wrong because you were scared of how they might react. It's like, well, if they don't react well, then they're probably not a good person to have in your life if they don't care how you feel or it's just not, mm. or maybe it's just not a good fit. Yeah. But keeping it in is also not the solution. Like we should probably no. think before we talk, but mm -hmm. at the same time, you can't just hold it in indefinitely. That's not the solution either. Right. Exactly. So take action from a place of peace rather than war, but inaction will cause the war Yeah, in the relationship. Yeah. There was an example in that video that was like, he's a divorce lawyer and he was asking like, what was the, when was the moment when you knew that the relationship was over? And she said, he used to always buy me this special granola that I liked and it was always in the fridge. I never had to ask for it. We didn't even talk about it. It was just like something he did that was really nice for me. And like when I stopped seeing that happen, mm. I was like, okay. And it was something small. And then he was like, well, was there a moment for you that you stopped doing something for him? And she said, blowjobs. <laughs> and he was like, well, which one happened first? And she said, I don't know. 
Mm-hmm. And the idea of nobody said anything like, Hey, is something wrong? Like mm-hmm. something's changing. So like, you don't want to do the thing that you normally like, like doing for me. So what has changed? And, you know, obviously they're not together anymore, but it was like maybe recognizing those little moments and actually talking about them exactly. instead of holding it in. Yes. That's such a great example. Yeah. Yeah. I really think that people should watch that video. What was that? I forgot that guy. What's I've it called seen- again? It's called A Divorce Attorney's Thoughts on Love and Marriage, James Sexton. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Why don't you send that to me and I'll put it in the show notes. Okay. Yeah. I'm very yeah. curious to see what people have to say about it. I'll send it to you. Well, yeah. thank you cool. so much, Scott. You're welcome, Ingrid. Thanks for giving us the tools for this week because there's going to be some uncomfy, uncomfiness. Absolutely. Absolutely. Oh, and I also wanted to mention, I totally forgot, but Saturday uh, when Mars is squaring the, uh, when Mars is squaring the moon here, it'll be uh, my North Node class. Oh, so shit. if you're, if you haven't signed out up for the North Node class, it's Saturday, August 26th. Go to the weekly transit.com to enroll. Uh, man, maybe it's going to be a fiery class. I don't know, but uh, I'm sure it will be fun. But yeah, introduction to the North Node, Saturday, August 26th. And North Node's one of my favorite things to talk about. That's our soul's purpose, why we're mm-hmm. here. That's what Scott's always pushing me towards on the podcast and also when he mentions like the cosmic pathway that's kind of what you see between the dynamic between me and scott one where i share stuff and he's kind of guiding me based on what my chart is that's like that personal touch where he's really getting to hold your hand and push you in the right direction lovingly but also i wouldn't say i wouldn't actually say gently Mm. i say lovingly but like i don't want to say forcefully that's not what i mean yeah you know what I'm saying? Sure. Yeah. I mean, it's everything that I do is out of love and encouragement when I'm working with my clients, always, you know, uh, but I can be tough yeah. if need be. Well, just know, like whatever I'm, the last alignment was, it's like, you're always saying the thing that needs to be said. Mm-hmm. Yes. To move things forward. Exactly. And it's not always what I want to <laughs> hear. Exactly. Like I've had some clients recently that are like, Oh my God, you're telling me this and I know I I need to hear it. (laughs) I know it makes so much sense, but it's really hard to hear. Yeah. You know, but yeah, that's what I'm here to do is to help shine light in some areas that might illuminate some things that need to be cleaned out or cleared or paid attention to. You know, it's like when the sun shines in, in an old house, you open up the curtains and you're like, oh my God, look at all Holy the dust shit. in here. Yeah, it's a mess. So that's what I do. I come in the house, open up the curtains, bring yeah. in the light. And it's yeah. like, oh, I don't want to go in this room. Yes, we got to look in here. got to clean it. <laughs> exactly. It's going to feel so good afterwards, I promise. Yes. <laughs> exactly. And it is. It's a release. It's it. When you're able to recognize areas where you're struggling or 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 have blind spots illuminated that you've been missing it's maybe uncomfortable at first but ultimately it is a release and it's a relief to go through the process well thank you scott for always holding my hand oh you're welcome ingrid (laughs) of course and i will see you next week see you next week Thank you for listening to The Weekly Transit. Follow us on Instagram for daily updates about the planetary alignments and how to work with the energy. If this podcast is helping you navigate life more gracefully, please subscribe, rate us five stars, and share with your friends. If you're ready to go deeper, book a personal reading with Scott or sign up for his new moon full moon class at theweeklytransit.com. The Weekly Transit. 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 Transit.